Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm in the car. The entire truck is filled, you guys. I can't even open the doors. Things are just falling out. I have been working um, on a collab with a really good friend of mine. Well, we become really good friends at this point. We don't live far from each other. We're both Dollar Tree addicts and haulers, and we have YouTube channels, and we decided to do a shopping collab this week that has sent me on an almost everyday frenzy to all the corners and nooks and crannies of my local and not so local areas hunting new Dollar Trees that we mapped out. We each have our itinerary. And let me tell you, Pamela, my friend from Pamela's World, if you don't know who she is, you need to go check out her channel. Um, if you don't know who she is, where have you been though? Um, she's been around a lot longer than me, that's for sure. And um, she always finds all the crazy greatest makeup. I have to give I have to give her a hand in that. She, like, ever, honestly, she finds everything. I remember before I ever met her, I would be like, how in the world does this woman do it? I mean, I do eventually find most of the things that she finds too, but I don't find them as quickly as she does. And now I know how she does it because the lady never stops. <laughs> she um, wakes me up. Are you out of the house yet? What are you doing? You had your coffee? Get out, out, out. People are shopping. You got to go, 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 go. And then... And then, uh, but she has like her accent and it's very hilarious. I love, I love the way she talks. I absolutely love her, her, uh, mode of speech. And she's like, what are you doing? You're not out yet. You got to get on the street girl. And I'm like, whoa. And then, and then, um, she, and then, you know, we're out and she's already out. She's out. It's not like she's telling me to do it and she's not already out there doing it. She's doing it guys. And I'm so excited because we're going to have the greatest giveaway, you guys. That's what this is all about, really. We both were talking about how much we really love YouTube because it's given us the ability to do what we love, which is shop. And we love bringing hauls to you guys. And we just want to honor our subscribers with an amazing collaborative giveaway because we want to fill it with lots and lots of makeup finds that you don't just regularly find at the Dollar Tree. And it seems like right now, because I, 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 she's completely correct in that, um, but this is the time of year, she said, from uh, around Mother's Day, they always bring out tons and tons of good makeup. And she is right about that. And we have been finding it, you guys. So it's going to end up in the hands of two very lucky subscribers. I'm not going to bore you guys right now with the details of the complete situation with the giveaway because I don't know what it is. I'm not going to lie. I don't even know. I know there's a look at our community tabs. Go to her channel, Pamela's World. You got to be subscribed to her channel and my channel in order to win one of the two giveaways. I'm going to be having a giveaway and she's going to be doing a giveaway. They're going to be mostly exactly the same things, plus maybe a little bit of flavor flavor at the end from each of us because we are separate but united in this um, common goal of bringing this awesome giveaway to our subscribers and we wanted to share we wanted to share our new friends on YouTube we wanted to share with each other our secrets of our favorite Dollar Trees she's just a lovely woman and I really enjoy having her in my life um, on my about me page it actually says that I wanted to meet like-minded women who enjoy the Dollar Tree and believe me she takes the cake so when Pamela has me out there hunting, 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 and I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I'm giving up. I've been to like a few stores. I haven't found it. She's like, no, you got to keep going. You got to keep going. She's a hard driver. And then I, I was, I, she's actually a hard candy driver is what she is because she's like, no, you can't stop until you find the hard candy. And I'm like, oh my God, I want to go home. I didn't come home last night until like 10 o'clock. I've been closing the stores. Do you guys ever see me closing my videos with darkness? But it's kind of funny fun. I, the truth is it couldn't have come at a better time. My husband is waiting for his procedure. He's, I hate to say it, but laying in bed, playing his video games with my son, playing video games with him. And I would just be home bored driving them crazy. So it's so good. It couldn't have come at a better time. The universe always provides for those who provide to others. So I'm just so happy and grateful that I met her. I'm so happy and grateful to have you awesome people in my life. And I've been talking for way too long. How long is that? 
five whole minutes. So I'm going to shut up and show you guys some of the stuff that I have because I probably have like seven holes at this point because I'm not just hunting hard candy. You guys know that when I go into the Dollar Tree, I fill my cart. I truly am a Dollar Tree addict. This channel's name is not like a pretend name. I can't help it. There's just so many awesome things. And the first thing I'm going to share is even though... Even though Easter and all the holidays are over, I did end up buying a ton of toys the other day. Um, the rest of them are in the trunk trunk, So, but this box is here, so I'm going to share it with you guys. So these are amazing. I have a whole case of them. Here they are. Uh, they had several cases, and there's 48 in a case, and they're by the brand Cool Things, and I am definitely going to be able to bring these to the shelter because this is something that boys and girls will like. And honestly, you know what? I know that I'm doing a Mother's Day giveaway at the shelters right now, and it's not like Easter, and it's not like Christmas, but they're kids, and they're kids whose families are homeless. And you know what? If a mom can take this and give it to her kids and make their her kids happy, that's a gift to a mom too. Because I just know that they'll be appreciated. I couldn't not buy them, you guys. I'm trying to move. And I like, I'm almost in tears because the lady in the store was like, oh, Marina, we have a lot of cool toys. Have you seen the toy aisle? And I was like, well, it's after Easter, I'm cutting back. And then I was like, oh my God, you guys have three cases of this. I'm gonna buy a case. She was like, go ahead. And I was like, well, I can't, normally I would save it for like maybe a back to school type of thing, or I'm just bringing it to the shelter and giving it in with the Mother's Day stuff. And honestly, the kids are gonna love them. So this is what these look like. And you can get all these different eight puppies. They're so, so adorable. Eight puppies, eight dog houses. And I do see all the time, not all the time, but I have seen these actually on um, Kathy Donovan. Always opens these with Caroline when she gets her hands on them. And they're so cute because they're itty bitty different puppies. You guys see, you guys know that I love dogs. I just love dogs and look at that puppy's face. I can't. So adorable, really adorable, really, really wonderful. And I was so happy and grateful to get this. Um, so I'm not gonna open these because these pretty much have been around a while and I'm sure you guys have seen them. If I remember to, I will add a picture of one that's already opened, but I really wanna save these for the kids. They're kind of to, they're so adorable. They're gender neutral. They're so cute. Do you guys see that? I am so happy that I got a case of those. I wasn't looking to spend 48 bucks on that, but I did anyway. I do have this sugar cookie toast crunch and I bought two boxes of this. It is a family size box. It has, I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, It has this on the back of it, a sugar cookie face. Is it like a reindeer face? Doesn't matter, Marina. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. It's actually a really cute box, though. I have to say. Whatever. Anyhow, sugar cookie toast crunch, naturally flavored, sweetened whole wheat and rice cereal. Um, so I guess there's no cinnamon. I guess you can sprinkle some cinnamon on it. So it's kind of like cinnamon toast crunch without the cinnamon. Um, but you could just sprinkle cinnamon on it and it's a huge box for a dollar. And honestly, this will get eaten up immediately. My son absolutely loves Cinnamon Toast Crunch and it's not expiring anytime soon. September of 2021, yeah, even if it is expired, it's still not really bad. Cereal, you, it, you have like a month after. I was really happy to find it because I know my son is going to absolutely eat this up in a heartbeat. This will be gone in a matter of a couple days literally a couple of days I know so it turns out I do have so it turns out I do have a couple of food items and I can't even believe that my bugles aren't do you guys hear all the birds and I really am right at the water so but I had to open the window I was dying of heat in here um I am amazed that I didn't break them. They're actually still intact. These bugles were left in this bag with all this hole. But uh, my son loves these nacho cheese bugles. They also have ranch. I didn't see the plane, but they don't always have these. It seems like they only bring them out like at this time of year. <gasps> Did you guys know that they make caramel bugles? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that. I'm reading that right there. I'm feeling like caramel bugles. I know this is, this is like off the deep end, really fattening, but they look like little ice cream cones. So if you were to scoop your ice cream with, well, it would be less calories than eating a big, well, that's actually kind of a good idea. I'm really trying to like lose weight, you guys, but um, I'm dieting like crazy, eating lots and lots of salads. We're not eating unhealthy. Well, my son still is. He's not. But my husband and I, we are on a diet. But I would love to find, I'm going to order, I'm actually going to order the caramel bugles on Amazon. And then I can make myself like, instead of having ice cream, because I don't really eat ice cream, but only in the hot days, I start to crave a little ice cream. So I can make like, like four little teeny mini cones. And that'll suffice, and they'll be little. It's like a bite of ice cream. It's like going to Baskin Robbins and getting freebies. Um, and I'll make myself little... I'm totally ordering these on Amazon. That's going to be my, like, if you really want to lose weight, you'll only have a teeny tiny little bugle size ice cream as dessert. Yeah, but so I did get the nacho cheese ones. These are for my son. They'll be gone in a heartbeat as well. I actually bought like six bags of those because I don't find those all the time. And he's already eaten them and was like, I thought you said you got six, mom. And I was like, I think I'm hauling one. He's like, well, you better hurry up because I ate all the other ones. So believe me, they must be good. I actually, I've never, I don't, I like the ranch ones, but I didn't pick them up on purpose because I don't want to eat them. I did find this actually, LA Colors. Okay, so this is completely and totally a mess. I don't even know what this is, but it says there's a bonus tool. 25 pieces, LA Colors nail art, 24 nail stickers. I had to buy it because I do my own nails and I love these colors. It's like I would have used this right now. Look at that. You guys could see that? And it has a nail tool, but... I don't know what the nail tool is. I don't get it. It's like a, we're going to, I guess you put this, oh, this is taking forever. I'm sorry. I guess you put this over your polish, which actually makes it stick really well. It's a dotting and dripping. Oh, What? I've never seen them use that at the nail salon. Have you guys ever seen that? <gasps> That's so brilliant. You dip this in your polish and you can make dots. You can also make dots. What? That's so cool. I mean, I guess you could use a point of a pencil or anything, but no, because this is very flat. This is cool. I didn't even know that was in there. So for a dollar, you get all of these really cute strips that you could stripe your nails with and stuff, and you get this tool for a buck. I think that's pretty great, actually, because this is going to do a lot of cute, fun nail, nail effects. And it shows you, like, all the different things you could do. Can you guys see that? see the different nail effects there stripes polka dots yeah that's actually I actually wasn't really thinking a lot about it I grabbed it but now I'm like I can't wait to use this this is gonna make my nails look really cute I'm psyched again like I said the other day I've been saving so much money not getting my nails done at the salon that it kind of pays for my haul sometimes because normally I would get my nails done and it would be like 60 bucks between my Manny Petty. I'm doing them myself, so I could spend 60 bucks at the Dollar Tree then. I did find these, and these were a mega, mega wish list item. I have to be honest, I've seen so many people do succulent, um, you know, succulent gardens with that. My friend Marsha from Marsha's Mush and Stuff did a really cute DIY with these as well. I really love them. But I actually don't think I'm going to do a DIY with them in that style. I kind of love the idea because I am moving and I love that these are really plain and I hate to see labels, you guys know that, and remote controls and things like that. So what I was thinking is I'm going to put this 
And I have a tray, like a cool beach driftwood type of tray that when I move, I plan on putting on a nice, really central in my living room ottoman. And I'll probably put this in the tray and inside of it, I will keep like my remote and maybe the candle lighter and maybe like just, maybe just a little floral thing up here. But then people won't see the clutter or the labels or anything because they'll be camouflaged and it'll just be inside of the tray. And maybe I'll just put a little plant or a cactus just at the top. But I love the idea of keeping the remote in here and the lighter for candles in here and just you know, angling them so that they stay like that. So you can't really see what's inside of it. I love it. I think it's going to be super cute, but these are just amazing. The first person I saw haul these was Mimi Sparkles from Mimi Sparkles Hauls. And she was like blown away with them. She like showed them immediately in her car's dashboard. And from that moment on, I was like, what? That is the greatest thing I've ever seen come out of the Dollar Tree. And when I found it, I was just like, yes, thank you. You could do so many things. You could do a shadow box on the wall and do like, you could do a million things with these. I know that people are going to do like some kind of snowman DIY with this in the winter. I'm not saying I will, but I know others will. It's going to have many lives. This little collection, this little trilogy of boxes will see so much play in the YouTube DIY world. I I did show in my walkthrough that they have a lot of varieties of this, but I picked up this one. It's like a, a stationary set. Uh, it's called Sticky Notes and Stationery Set. It's, first of all, I just am loving this super retro, botanical, jungly, teal. This blue color always attracts me. I love that it has the Velcro, and I love these post-its because... I do have a tendency of just doing giveaways just for the heck of it. And I still have not been able to figure out how to use the comment picker. So when I do my giveaways, I need to get a whole bunch of post-its, sit down, and I write the people's names on it individually and fold them up. But now this will be so cute because if I do use these, they'll be like colorful flower ones. So I just... I like using different, but you know what? You got to keep yourself happy in life somehow. And if this $1 pad of paper and post-its makes me happy, what's the harm? Speaking of happy post-its, you guys, I'm sure you guys have already seen. Um, I don't think anyone, I don't think I've seen anyone but Pamela from Pamela's Hauls. Actually, I've been out shopping so much lately. I've only been watching just a couple of my friends. I watched um, this week. Has I've watched hardly any YouTube at all. I've watched my friend Marsha from Marsha's Mush and stuff blew me away this week with her haul from Target. No, Target, like a secret Target clearance spot. The thing she got for a dollar, you guys need to go check it out. It's amazing. I shared it in my community tab. And I watched uh, Unicorn Dust Designs. I think if I'm saying her name wrong, I'm sorry. But she's a DIYer. Um, she does amazing things and she did a video where she did amazing stuff with Jenga blocks and I was mesmerized by that. I was actually watching that while driving and then I watched Pamela because I've been watching all this stuff because I don't get to do hauls as fast as she does. She is, that lady doesn't sleep. She does not sleep. So she amazes me. She is disciplined. That's all I know. But she hauled these a while ago and I was like, oh my God, I want those. And then when I found them the other day, I was like, oh yeah, gangster pug. I, I mean, like seriously, look at that. Look at this thug life pug. I can't, I love it so much. I love it. The paper inside is plain, but it is so cute. He's money, money, money. I absolutely love these stupid post-it pads. No, they're not post-it pads. They are notepads. But they were like a major wish list item. And I hate that they put that here and not back here. Like, why? It like obstructs your view of cuteness. And then um, here is this kitty notepad. Look at it. It is adorable. I, yeah, I can't. It's so cute. And the other side is blue. And again, I just, 
I'm going to use these all for when I do giveaways. Every time I do a giveaway, I go through over 50 sheets. So yeah, I'll, I'll use them up. But in the meantime, I enjoy them. They're, they're a pleasure. I know that I could get like a greater, better deal of post-its, but I like to have things that make me happy. It's not that expensive and it's not that big a deal. And then this one, I, I love this bandana one. I think I'm going to save this one on my desk because I just don't even want to use this one. He's so cute, but I, I, I feel like these two are like a couple like this, this kitty and this dog, they're like the same. I don't know. They're so adorable. She's like gorgeous. This cat beautiful with her pearls. I think actually I'm going to give this to my friend, Kathy, because this reminds me of her. She's very like high end and couture-ish and she's gonna love this that's going to my friend Kathy she's like a cat lady actually I think I'm gonna give her this one too because she really loves cats so much so now I don't even feel bad that I bought all of them because I actually kind of want them all though I should have bought doubles but I I, I I couldn't help it I love them all but I will share and use the rest for my giveaways and then these precious baby dolls, you guys, these are beautiful. It really annoys me to death, though, that on the back side of like this one is like, don't say it annoys you to death. He just turned around and looked at me. This is the baby boy and this is the baby girl. Well, we don't know, but it's yellow. So I'm because I didn't see any pink. I just saw yellow and blue. Let me know if they come with pink also. I'm assuming the yellow is for the baby girl and the blue is for the baby boy. But I don't know why, why, why Dollar Tree had to do that. It's stamped, physically stamped on the back of the doll. You can't take it off. You probably get it off with something, but I'm saying not easily. And their eyes are really beautiful. They're like actual little glass or plastic or something in expensive marbles. They're dark skinned babies. Both of them have the same complexion. They're the exact same doll. Only one is yellow and one is blue and they just that's the part that's different. Um, I think they only come in this complexion, but that's perfect for me. Um, oh yeah, look, the little, well, girl, I'm assuming because it's yellow, has the mouth open. So actually the body parts are different, but the little boy has the mouth closed. I actually bought a case of these. The eyes don't close when you, remember the baby dolls when we were little that when you laid down their eyes would close because they were on that weighted little ball bearing. Um, these don't have that, but they do have really beautiful faces. They're very, very nice face dolls for a dollar. They don't have any hair. It's like plastic drawn in, but I still think they're super cute. And you can like kind of like take napkins or bits of fabric and make them like little diapers. Little girls and little, even little boys that play house with little girls. They're going to love these. I bought a case of these as well. Um, because I think they're, I think they're really beautiful. And at a dollar, that's wonderful. Wonderful. I couldn't help it. I wasn't looking for toys. I, I wasn't looking for toys, but I ended up buying, and I did pick up a pack of good old super value eight scouring sponges. These are by Karatsi. Actually, I don't know if that's what, are those the one? Oh, they're not always by this brand, are they? No, they're not. These are from Mexico. These are different than I usually get. Oh, these are great. They're more scrub. <gasps> you guys, these are really good. These are better than the regular Dollar Tree ones. Because can you, can you hear that? That's way more abrasive. and they're, But they're a little smaller. But I'm okay with that. Because I'd like them to be smaller and then throw them away quicker. But you get eight sponges for a dollar by this brand name, Carazzi Marca Italiana, but they're actually from Mexico. I don't care where they're from because they're going in my dirty pots and pans and then they're going in the trash. I only use them a couple times and I ditch them. And then I did get some of these um, Captain's Wafers. My son loves the sour cream and, uh, sour cream and chives ones. So I picked up a couple of these. They don't always have this flavor in my Dollar Tree. They always have like the cheddar cheese and the peanut butter. And my son doesn't love those. Um, he loves these, the cream cheese and chives with the plain white 
saltines. This is his absolute favorite. So I did get a couple of those. I did pick up some of this super glue wood glue. It works great. I love having it on hand. And the other day, for no apparent reason, I have a mermaid from Bed Bath & Beyond that I love that I paid like 40 bucks for and she just fell off the wall and broke in half. But she's made of wood. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this wood glue will be able to repair her because she's like a weird wood. It's wood, but it's, I don't know, like, I tried to glue it with super glue and it didn't work. So I'm a little worried that she might be dead forever, but I'm going to try to revive her. And speaking of mermaid, check out these glasses that I got because I, oh, I forgot I have this on them. I can't help it. I buy like all of these novelty glasses because I, honestly, I'm probably going to drop them off at the shelter. I'm going to keep a few for myself. I bought multiples of them. I'm sure you guys realize that, but do you guys see these? These don't flip up, and I was so devastated because I was like, wow, I would have loved if these flipped up because they're actually sparkle pink. You guys see the sparkles? I don't know why these, I don't know why. Dollar Tree, sometimes you just kill me. You kill me because if these actually flipped, and if you guys don't know what I mean, you're about to find out. See, I have like multiple of every color. I just, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what they had there. I don't even know which one to show you guys next. That's how much I love them all. So let's look at these next. These teal ones. So you see how these are, right? Put these bad boys on and then now you can't even see the ugly world. Goodbye, cruel world. Actually, it's very pretty right here. But then you could wear them like that at your party or luau or whatever. And then you could just be like that. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> I can't help it. I love these things. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just love, love them. I literally love them. They're so fun. I mean, I'm not going to wear these everywhere all day. Every, uh, there is a pair actually that I do plan on using is just my regular sunglasses but I don't think it's in this haul. But I would definitely wear these to a summer party or a get together, a barbecue. These are like so fun. They're just fun. I mean, yeah, there's no other word for them. Actually, I might actually really wear them. I like the color of them. They're not really big enough. If they were bigger, I like the flamingo ones, those pink like classy flamingo ones. I would wear those all day. Because they're like, they have the right shape. I don't love the shape of this. I like it when my glass goes to here. But I do just love them. I think they're amazing for like a barbecue or a day in the pool. They're just fun. They're beautiful. They're really fun. The kids and the even the moms, everybody that gets a pair of these is going to be thrilled to have them. Even if you're just stepping into the Dollar Tree to pick up a couple of things and you see these and you grab up like two or three and you give some to your friends, they're always going to smile. And when you can get a smile and like joy into a person for just a dollar, go for it. That's, that's my opinion. If you can make yourself happy for just a dollar, why not? Okay. Yeah. These are my favorite for sure. Look at that. These are amazing. Look at these. And also because I do like to look at the world through rose tinted glasses. These are actually pink lenses and they're like rainbow colored see blue and then pink and then orangey and then yellow and this is like to die for i wonder if i could see through it yeah you can almost even see through them even when they're closed so these are kind of awesome you could even leave them like that they're just so cool they're really really fun really fun glasses and then i i did pick up several of these because when I do give these out, I'm sure the boys are going to want those, like the boys at the, at the different, I'm just going to drop probably a lot of them off at the shelter. I don't think I'm going to be doing a party. I don't know. We'll see, but I did get all these toys now, so I can't hold on to them. I'm trying to pack, but do you guys see how adorable? Wow. These are actually so fantastic. I kind of love them. <laughs> love with these. You know what? These are amazing glasses. Like I actually... Yep, I love them. They actually are nice. I actually could possibly wear these all day. And when you close it up, 
You look like you're in Devo. I feel like I'm in the band Devo, but I, I actually think I love these too. I don't, I love them all. They're so fun. I cannot believe that, you know, at Spencer's Gifts or Hot Topic or something like that, you would never buy these for 99 cents. These would be 10 bucks, you guys. So just think about that. For $10, I'm saving $100. In my Dollar Tree math, that's a huge savings. And then, of course, pineapple, the um, fruit of hospitality, or what is that called? The symbol of hospitality. Oh, yeah, and these are yellow. I love when you see the world through yellow glasses, too. I just love any glass where... I love any pair of glasses where the lens... Wow, it looks beautiful. These actually make you, like, feel happy. Like, the world is so bright. The future's so bright. You gotta wear shades. That's what it's making me think of. They're so... Actually... I do know that I love yellow lenses because the Dollar Tree sells these um, sunglasses. I don't know. They're supposed to have like a special purpose. They're white sunglasses with yellow lenses. And whenever I see those, I buy, are they like night vision glasses? I don't know. I don't know what the heck they're really for, but I wear them in the daytime on a regular day. Not when it's crazy sunny, but on a regular day. And I love them. These sunglasses also come in the purple. Um, let's see what lens color they have. It is just, oh, it's actually clear. Wow. These are kind of cool too, because people could see your eyes. I like almost took my eyeball out just now. I don't want to rip up the paper anymore. Cause I forgot I'm giving these away to people. So I don't want them to think that they're used, but, um, the purple ones are beautiful. I did buy several of those. Oh, and then there's this pair. And this pair, it's so cute. This pair is so cute, you guys. It is so cute. It has little mermaids on the ends of it. Look at that. I can just, I love them. I can't help it. They're so cute. Kids are going to love these. They're really fun, fun glasses. For a dollar, just one dollar, and you have happy, smiley little mermaid lenses. Look at that. Kids could wear these to the beach. So could their moms. They could have mermaid days. Over here in New York, they have a thing called the Mermaid Parade. I feel like they should be giving these out to all the mermaid wannabes. This is so cute. So cute. And I got several of these. And, of course, I did pick up another... Actually, not just one. I picked up multiple of this bin. I happen to love this bin. Um, the Dollar Tree has made it before. It's just a wonderful bin. I like it. fits a lot of things in it. Small makeup stuff. I can organize and keep track of it. And I just love this color. So I just wish that they would make them so that they were straight and not slanted. Wish the Dollar Tree would just do that. But, you know, it's a dollar. You get what you get and you don't get upset. I did share one of these lint-free cloths in my walkthrough. It's called Flower Sack Towel, 100% cotton, 30 inch by 36 inch. Now, the reason that I picked this up and I wanted to share with you guys is because this is 100% cotton. You could do a lot of things with this. It's really big, you guys. You can actually, literally buy these and use them as short kitchen curtain shears. Now, I like to use the clip. You know, those clip. They're like a ring with a clip. And I have really um, arched windows. In the, I, ha I had them put in. I have a really little bungalow. It's a ranch, so it has a very low profile in the front. But I wanted to bring as much light into it as possible. So we bought arched windows. Even though they're the itty-bitty littlest ones that Anderson makes. I got them at this really awesome place called the Re Reuse Store or whatever. They recycle building materials, but those were brand new. I guess someone ordered them and they were like, we have a normal size house. These are really little windows. So I benefited from that because they're crazy expensive windows and we got them for a steal. And then we had someone put them in. But so they're arched. And then I like to never put a curtain at the top. I like to only put it halfway so I can get as much light into my house as possible. You guys, you can literally use these as curtains. They're gorgeous. 
they would be sheer. I picked up four of them because I'm going to make them into some summer curtains and they're going to look really nice in my window. I'm telling you guys right now. I actually need to get another one because I'm thinking of using it as like a table cover and maybe putting an iron on on it. They're very, very, very nice quality. Very good, sheer, lightweight summer. It's almost like a linen. It's perfect for the summer as a kitchen window. I mean, they're not, I'm seeing it in other people, normal people's like kitchen or bathroom windows. In my house, they're my two front windows. And because I don't like to have long curtains in them. I really want nothing obstructing the sunlight that comes in this beachy area in. I love that light. I don't actually care to have curtains, but you need them in the front of your house so people can't see all the way through your house. But I strongly urge you guys to check these out and just take them home and flop them around and think of all the things you could do with them. You could actually even wear this as a scarf. That's how nice it is. It's very like flowy, linen-y nice. It's shockingly nice quality fabric for a dollar from the Dollar Tree and it's completely hemmed and stitched all the way around that's what I think is amazing it's amazing people buy like drop cloths from Home Depot and they cut them and they do all this stuff and then they don't stitch it you don't even have to stitch it if this length works for you you could do a whole lot of stuff with these pick up a slew of them they're a wonderful buy at a dollar. At one dollar, where are you going to get? For two dollars, you get two curtains and super cute white, really nice. They have a nice weight to them. They actually are right in front of me right now because I was so in love with these that I grabbed a pair of them. From, I, I actually only found these last night. And this stuff has been sitting here forever. But the things that I found last night are back there. But because I didn't want to not have this immediately, I took, I grabbed two of them and I put them in my purse. So they're in the front here and I'm hauling them now. But I, I'm so backed up, you guys. The stuff that I got yesterday is nowhere near being hauled today. But um, these stainless steel drinking straws are literally amazing. They're stainless steel, four for one dollar. Four for a dollar. Can you guys believe that? And you get two bent ones, which is so cute. This reminds me of that, what was that ad, the commercial where people were drinking perfume? Was it Bijan back in the day? That's what this reminds me of. Yep, I can drink out of this. It's not like those yucky paper straws. I'm okay with this. And then they have these straight regular ones, which in a pinch you can also use as chopsticks. So it's like you get a straw and a chopstick all in one. So I love that. And it comes, so you get five items for a dollar because you also get the cleaner. And hmm, can you clean the bendy one? This is the question. Yes, you can. It makes the metal sound that makes me crazy, but it's happening. You can clean it. Oh, this is awesome. You guys, this is I wish that everyone that wants this finds it. It is an amazing deal at a dollar. This is incredible. Incredible deal for a dollar. It really is. I Sometimes the things that I find at the Dollar Tree never cease to amaze me. Never cease to amaze me. If I find a ton of those, I'm buying a ton of those and I'm going to give those out. Those are a great buy. Then I want to share this absolutely to die for a little book for you. I actually picked this up for my son. I know he's going to love it. I know that my son is actually going to love this and really get a kick out of it. And his birthday is on May 4th. So I've got a bunch of little things to give him. And this, this book is called Crusoe, the Worldly Wiener Dog, Further Adventures with the Celebrity Dash Hound. <gasps> Wait, Further Adventures? That means there's another book. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. I have to get my son the other one too. I'm going to have to order the other one. I'm sure I won't find it at the Dollar Tree. And it says the New York Times bestselling pup. Do you guys see this Dash Hound dog and his getup? Oh my God. So on the back, it says, join photogenic Crusoe as he leaves fame and fortune behind to expand his survival his horizons. Get his passport stamped and journey across the globe to eat delicious food, relax on beautiful beaches, 
dig lots of holes, and generally enjoy all the celebrity travel has to offer. You'll also get to see some of his staycations and life at home between travels, jet setting and what dash hounds do best from Switzerland Alps and Mexico's Mayan temples to Italy's seaside villages and France's Eiffel Tower, as well as various local locales throughout the United States and Canada. Crusoe shares his wit and wisdom on appreciating culture and haute cuisine, also always dressing for the occasion and maybe learning a thing or two about what really matters most in life along the way hitting the streets of New York City as the wiener of Wall Street. Oh my gosh. Drinking at the notorious Bar Vitali shooting location of The Godfather. Oh my God. Recovering from back surgery with lots of love and rehabilitation and style. Oh my God, this dog had back surgery. Um, this is adorable. This is adorable. Okay, so he's at the movie theater. Let me see if I can fan it. It's hard to do it with hardcover books, but. Oh my God, he went to Mardi Gras. Did you guys see that? My son is gonna love this book. It says that he's the only wiener dog that can rock a, a thong. Aw, oh, that's so cute. That's his owners. I love it. I love it. I can't believe I got this book for a dollar. This is so cute. This dog is really a ham. I could never get my dogs to sit still for a picture like this. Not in a million years. But my sixth thing I'm going to share with you guys I've actually seen it a million times and I haven't picked it up because my cart's always so full and I didn't really, really need toilet paper. I actually love Scott Tissue. Now that the world has gone back to normal and I can get Scott Tissue, I haven't really needed to pick up to uh, toilet paper from the Dollar Tree, but this lavender scented toilet tissue, it comes with a lavender scented tube. So I guess when you spin it, I, ooh. It's very lavender scented. So once my allergies start, do you guys see how red, do you guys see how red my nose got? I think I'm allergic to that lavender. Mm, I may be passing that on to a friend. I don't need lavender scented bathroom that badly. I'm good. I'm good. I think I did buy this a while ago, but I saw them again and I actually gave it away. So I picked one up for myself to keep because honestly, I feel like this is a really nice summertime scarf for just just to wear it like hanging just in case you start to get chilly at night or whatever you can wrap it around your neck because I get like a sore throat if my neck gets cold I don't know if that happens to other people but that's just me and even in the summer when it's like evening out I do like to wrap my neck in a scarf and I love 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 this print you could even probably use this fabric to decoupage stuff for a buck, it's like a beautiful, beautiful, like aztec -y, but summery. Just a, I love this fabric. I love it. I literally love it. You could wear it with so many summer outfits. Just keep it on hand in your purse for when you need a little scarf around your neck or want to tie something in your hair. Great deal at a dollar. Great deal at a dollar. The tree offers better deals on these tackies where you get like a few in a pack, or I think they're called Fuegos or whatever, but, oh no, I don't know. I feel like they have better, this was a dollar just for this bag, but I really feel like this is a very, very, very unhealthy snack that my son is obsessed with. The chemicals in these are crazy, but he really loves them. So I did pick up this one little bag and I'm hoping that he like is over it soon. So I don't have to keep buying him that. I'm trying to get him off of all these processed foods. But it's not working, you guys. It's not working. And then I did pick up a ton. A ton of these. And I've actually given them out already. But I have more uh, left here for... I guess I'll drop them off probably tomorrow, which is Monday. I have a lot of toys and the last of the Mother's Day to drop off. I love these um, bibs. They're gorgeous. This one is rain, um, 
pitiful. Do you guys see that? And it does have the little pocket so that they can have their second breakfast, lunch, or dinner out of the pocket because most of it ends up in the pocket. And then they have this cute penguin. How cute is that? Again, with the pocket. So darling. I love it. And it's vinyl. You can rinse it, put it back up. It's very sturdy, reusable. This is a great dollar. A piggy wiggy. So when they're being piggy wiggies, their pockets collect all their food. And then this is my favorite, the giraffe. I absolutely love the giraffe. Even though it makes me think of Toys R Us and makes me sad, I still love it. I think it's so cute. I love that it's yellow. A girl or a boy could use it. It's just so cute. But they're all really a great buy at $1. I think they're marvelous. Collection. And I'm going to tell you guys why. I just, I love them. I don't know what more to say. Look at these jars. They're like jam jars for candles. Their lids are literally jam jar lids. You can actually... And then, actually, when you make jelly, use them for jam. They're glass jars. There's no reason not to. They're like the perfect size to make jelly in the summer, which I love to do and share with my friends. And honestly, when you buy jars like this, it costs you a lot more than a dollar. I'm going to use the candles, enjoy the candles, and then I'm making jelly. That's exactly what I'm doing with them because I love to make jelly in the summer. But I don't like to put a lot of stuff in it, so... You know, I'm not going to like do that whole thing where you like make it that it lasts forever. I'm just going to make the jelly and give it out to my friends and they'll use it up. But I love jelly and fresh fruit. Maybe I'll make it with peach or there's always blueberries. Oh, people caught fish. Someone caught a fish. Oh, it's officially getting to be summer. So the scent, the scent of these um, candles is the white one is mahogany and tea and... The smell is, it reminds me of like Hollister. This smell reminds me of like Abercrombie or Hollister stores. That's exactly what it smells like. You guys know that smell when you go into the store, it's like pumped into the air. Yep, I'm like in the mall. It's dark. I'm in the Hollister store. Everyone is really pretty and attractive and young. And that's the smell that it takes me to. And I, I actually love the smell of the Abercrombie and Hollister stores. It's a great smell. And then the blueberry and lavender, it smells really good. If only these candles, like when they're burning, could actually send that smell out. For, like, you just have to use these in your bathroom. That's the bottom line. And I do. I love to light one up in the bathroom, take a nice long shower or bubble bath watch my YouTube videos. That's my bathroom is my happy place. And I really hope that where I move to, I have a fantastic bathroom because I live for my bathroom time. I do. I live it. I live for it. It really does smell like the ocean and watermelon Jolly Rancher. Another really beautiful smell. These are probably nicer than most of the candles that they've come up with lately. And then this peach one is peach skin and mint. And it does say skin. It blew me away, but it's peach skin and mint. But it has a ultra, I wish, I always am like, smell it. Um, I wish I could make you guys just catch a whiff. It's just, ugh. This smells like I want to drink it. Like it smells like something like a peach iced tea with a sprig of mint in it. Yeah. Oh, on a hot, hot day after I go in my hot tub and the weather changes and I'm drinking an iced tea, I'm going to like this one. I actually love them all. They're really all just lovely. Darling candles. They make a nice little gift if you get them all and you put them in a like little wicker basket and put some of that like shredded paper shred in it. They would make a cute little basket. They're nice. They're very, very nice for a dollar. I can't, I, I'm still, I'm smelling nothing now. Now I'm, now I'm getting crazy again. This is how I get when I get really in love. When I really like something, I just start to lose it. Like I can't control my happiness. A pack of these 250 and it has like, so you guys see that? Two yellow, one green, one blue, one pink pack of post-it. So you get five packs 
uh, five message pads, 50 sheets each, 250 sheets by jot for $1. Now you would think that I'd want to use these for my giveaways because that's like so economical, but I feel like I like to use the pretty paper for my giveaways because I feel like it makes it have like a cuter vibe and that makes me happy. But these are good for just regular post-it uses that don't need to be beautiful. They're really economical. My son can use them for taking notes and stuff. And at that price, you can't beat it. And I did get that little post-it holder, the teal one. So I'm going to put that on my desk for just like notes. We have to grab and write a phone number or a website or something like that. That's what those are for. And then I did get these because I think they're marvelous. These cute, pretty towels. One sign, one towel says sunshine kisses and summer wishes. And look at how adorable that is. So cute. And then this one says, see you at the beach. I, there were others. I showed them in my walkthrough, but I pick these. I love them. I absolutely love these. I think they're really, really darling. They're also, I'm almost positive that these are cotton. Yep. 100% cotton. So they wash well. And I like that. I don't love the microfiber towels. I just don't, but I do love these and, um, I'm really happy to have them. I mean, they're mostly for decorational purposes, but since these are cotton, if your hands are wet and you wipe them off on this, they actually dry off. So that's like, that's nice. I like that. You could dry your hands on these. You can even, if you want to, hang this one in your bathroom as a, as a towel to dry your hands off on. It's like cute if you have a beachy bathroom. But, I mean, I bought them for my kitchen. I'm just saying you could do whatever you want with them. You can hang them outside on your barbecue. You could just, if you're having a party, people could wipe their hands. I don't know. I think they're awesome. For a dollar, you could get them, use them up, get them dirty, throw them away. It doesn't matter. But then these are the ones that are getting down to the real nitty gritty because these are real towel towels. And you get two of these. They're called bar mops. And honestly, they're antimicrobial bar mop dishcloths, two for a dollar. You cannot beat these. These are 100% cotton. Cotton stuff at the Dollar Tree, you guys. I love things that say cotton. That makes me happy. I like it even more when it says organic cotton, but still at the Dollar Tree, cotton will do. Yes, thank you. I love that. The item that I've been seeing a lot of again lately, and I have to mention that I love, are these pecan shortbread cookies. If you've never tried them by Amber Farms and you see them, grab them. They're back in my stores again, and I snatched three boxes up because they're really delicious. They're an eight ounce package. They're not a Greenbrier product. Oh, they're not a Greenbrier product. No wonder I love them. I mean, not that Greenbrier, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with Greenbrier products, but I guess this is like actually a brand name item. I don't know where else they sell these, but these cookies are absolutely delicious. They have, they have actual pecans inside of them. They are, they're so good with coffee. Um, delicious with a cup of coffee, you guys. Pick them up. You're not going to be disappointed. If you guys um, see these in the store and you're looking for a little gift to give, like a coworker or something for Mother's Day, it's a good idea to pick them up. They're actually kind of wonderful. And they do um, seem to be in almost all the Dollar Trees right now because the Dollar Tree is like pushing them as a Mother's Day item. They have them like in the front of a lot of the stores. These face wipes with cucumber and chamomile are delightful. They're delightful. I do have some other face wipes that are amazing, but your store may not have them. It's very, I think it's pretty likely that your store will have this Bolero product. So I'm just suggesting it because I think it's really a pretty thing to give to a mom with maybe a bouquet of daisies. And I have bought a couple of these. Um, the eye cream is actually not bad. It's not, it's Bolero, but it smells nice and it's a pretty nice product. So they do have the eye cream and also the face cream. I didn't buy all of the products from the line because I don't really buy into all of that, but I did buy the cucumber and chamomile um, face cream, the eye cream and the wipes. And I did give a few of these to some ladies as gifts for Mother's Day. And I do think that it's actually a pretty cute gift. Now, another strange thing that I'm about to suggest, I don't know if it fits in there, um, I actually put like lipsticks and stuff in it. I don't know if you guys were wondering if this fits in here, but it doesn't. So it would be tacky, but 
I actually bought a few of these glasses that say my horoscope said this would happen because I and it has like this kind of like a celestial do you guys see I, I don't know how to how am I, okay let's has like this celestial kind of like painted on glass pattern and what I did was I filled it with tissue and I put um like a lipstick and an eyeliner in them I put different various makeup in them and I put them in the clear bags I gave them to some people that I know I shipped them out and I bought that horoscope zodiac book because I actually do have a lot of my ex clients birthdays in my file so I checked for a few of the ones that I know and I got their zodiac book if you guys remember, I hauled the Virgo one a while ago, but I saw them again, so I grabbed up a few, and then I found some of the clients. I kind of remembered, but I wasn't sure, and I was almost almost on the money with all of them, so I put the horoscope book in the back, and it's a soft back, so it kind of folded in, and then I put some tissue, and I put the little couple of makeups, and then I wrapped the whole thing with a whole lot of stuff, and of course, my favorite thing to do is also add some marshmallow, a bag of marshmallows, when I wrap because I feel it's cheaper than bubble wrap and you can eat it and make Rice Krispie treats and I shipped that out to some of my girlfriends because I think it's hilarious my horoscope said this would happen a lot of these women had to relocate um, one you know oh I have my uh, car chime I hope that hasn't been bothering you guys the whole time it's a like car chime okay so a lot of these women that I've had to um, help relocate and stuff, they'll really find it very amusing because some, yeah, I just know that they're going to find it really amusing and I find it really amusing. That is for sure. I did also pick up these absolutely hilarious glasses because like I said, it's almost my son's birthday. And actually, I feel like in September, I'll be using these as well. These may actually become family heirlooms. I love these. I think they are the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I'm going to wear these on my birthday all day. But I'm also going to torture my son and make him put them on for his birthday. He is not going to be happy about it. I could tell you guys that right now, but I'm still going to do it because how many more birthdays do I get to commandeer in my son? And then I did get this for when it is my birthday because you guys know me and you know that it wouldn't be a shocker if I do both of them all day long because I just, I just love this kind of stuff. I can't help it. I do. I love it. I, but I, these are amazing. These are like my birthday it's my birthday you know what if you go into places that give you free stuff with these for your birthday you could be like it's my birthday and you can do it every day <laughs> I'm just kidding but I you could definitely do it once a year and they're not even gonna card you look at that they're not gonna question it it's my birthday today where's my free ice cream where's my free cup of coffee where's my I don't know what else who does it like I hop I don't know but where are my pancakes I'm ready for them dig right in you could totally get it with this I could see that for sure these are perfect for that Yep, I had to buy, I, I, okay, these are potentially my favorite ones that I've ever gotten. You guys, I'm going to keep these forever and ever. I'm going to literally, so this is how you know how, I was so concerned that they might get scratched or damaged that I might not find them again. I actually brought bubble, I can't find anything, but I brought bubble wrap from the inside of my house to wrap these in so that I, I don't want anything to happen to them. I'm very careful with these. You know that I love something. Like I'm like, oh, I don't want those to get damaged. I don't treat like fine vintage china like that. I break it all. But these two, they're so cute. Look at all my birthday candles on my birthday. I will be wearing this and blowing out my, I'll be wearing this. I don't know where I'm going. I'll probably be in Florida by then. It'll be sunny and beautiful. I'm so excited. Actually, I just, that'll be like my wish that I'm, I get my house organized. Like 
I hope I get my house organized soon and everything goes well here in my new house in Florida and baking my like birthday wish in my new house because I'll probably be just getting there and like overwhelmed that I can't get everything unpacked and I don't know I don't want to project we'll see what happens but I'm gonna be in Florida by September you guys that is a given I did find the LA's totally awesome daily shower works on contact actually gets cleaning power into plain old water fresh scent cleaner and you know what I bought two of these I already used it it's great this this stuff is really good you guys I've seen um, my buddy Pamela and quite a few other people go to Dollar General and buy that pink one I forgot the it's like a um, bath no all surface cleaner I forget what it is but I'm gonna go to Dollar General I have to go to Dollar General because now I want to try every single thing that's like this these are really really good they're really, really good. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out her channel. It, um, it, her thumbnail has her holding. It's like a pink one, but she has a whole lot of other really great stuff from Dollar General in that haul. But these things are amazing. So yeah, don't hesitate to buy it. The only thing is that it's an awkward bottle because you get so much product that it's weird. But that's just my gripe. That's just my gripe. I love it. Up two of these Formula 44 Dia Maximum Strength Mucus Relief because honestly, even though that's not what this is for, when you have crazy allergies, sometimes you take these things and they kind of help instead of taking yourself to the emergency room or using a nebulizer. I know you're not supposed to use this, but my son and I have insane allergies and we really do sometimes just use these and it really does help. It does help with that and it says it controls coughs thin and loosens mucus extended release ta tablets cough suppressant expectorant 10 extended release tablets 12 hours worth of relief for one dollar this is like six bucks in the store amazing buy and i don't even care when they expire i honestly i know that everyone's always like oh when do they expire when do they expire it's not going to kill me if I take it past the expiration date. These were the wipes that I was talking about when I was sharing the Bolero products. These are actually amazing. If you can get your hands on these, by all means, grab these up. But these are not everywhere in every Dollar Tree. They are by the brand Fakik. And it kind of like reminds me of like Clinique. So it's sort of like a, if you like Clinique, you'll love our dupe of it. And these are amazing. You guys, amazing. It says the thickest wipe you will probably ever use is inside. If you love it, brag about it using hashtag global beauty care. Oh, they're by global beauty care. Duh, I love global beauty. I just, oh my God, I just love global beauty care. It is join our community. I'm going to join their community. I am already part of their community. I like promote their community. You get 60 this is a heavy box. You guys, these are nice. They're nice, nice wipes. Refreshing, nice. I'm not going to take off my makeup right now, but whenever I get one of these on my hands, I just want to wipe my whole face. I really do. I don't have my sunglasses on. I feel naked. Now I feel dressed. Um, I, you know, you wipe your hands. I wipe my car down with them. They're moisturizing. They don't damage my dashboard. I have these, I have wipies everywhere. I am like a wipey crazy lady. I use antibacterial wipes, regular wipes, baby wipes. I just love them. They're just so useful. But these, these are like a cut above the rest. Do not, if you see these, snatch them up. Do you guys hear me? Snatch them up. 60 wipes, 60 thick, yummy wipes. Like I wish you guys could see these are nice, really good quality, like great quality. You could like re rinse them out, clean something with them. After you're done wiping your face off with them, rinse them in the bathroom. That's what I do. After I do my face, I rinse them with hot water and then I clean my whole bathroom off with them. I wipe the floors down and then I put it in the garbage. I like hate just throwing it in the garbage unless it gets multiple uses. So... I always do that or I wipe my bathtub down with it or I use my shower cleaner 
isn't that crazy? I, I always tell people like that I, I have to be doing multitasking because that's how my brain is like, oh, I'm wiping my face. Let me clean the bathroom while I'm cleaning my face. Let me, I always do that. Like if I'm on the toilet, I'm cleaning the floor or I'm fixing, like, I mean, not that you guys want to know what it's like when I'm on the toilet, but I can't even just be on the toilet. I have to be like organizing my magazines and brushing my teeth. Like I'm just one of those people that has to do that. So I'm just saying you can rinse these off after you wash your face with them, spray down the sink area and clean the whole sink area and then throw it away so you're not wasting, you know, materials that they, I don't know. I just, it's just an idea. Match this, but it does match this. So if you get lucky enough to find this, oh yeah, gift this because these are from like Marshalls, you guys. Again, a global, yep, cruelty-free global beauty brands. I just love Spa Scriptions Global Beauty Care. Once it's open, it's good for six months. This is avocado and green tea moisturizing day cream. And it is a nice little tub in there. I'm sure it has the little, maybe it has the little spatula. I got to open this box. I just mangled the box, but it's okay. It's mine. What's it got in here? nothing it's just, oh it's so cute though it's not even just look it's got a little it's got a little extra pizzazz the shape of it it's cute I don't know but these little things it's nice you guys oh what <gasps> look at that it is I love this I'm just gonna put it in an, I actually haven't tried this one yet I'm putting it where I wouldn't normally. Now I have like a streak of like area with no makeup. So I look even crazier when I get out of my car, but who cares? It's, it doesn't have an odor. Yep. This is, oh, this is nice. I love night cream, day cream. I slather it on. The more moisturized you are, the more you'll be less wrinkly when you get older, as you get older. I'm already there where older is, but yeah, that feels great. I love it. It's and it says superfood. The the well, I destroyed the packaging, but you guys get it. It says superfoods. It's just really well packaged. It even has little avocados. I love avocados. I just love it. Love, love, love that product. Trying to get through a few other items. I did pick these up and I actually kind of want to use these because my son's birthday is coming up and I'm gonna be making him ice cream sandwiches because that's what he likes so I'm gonna make fresh cookies and fill them with ice cream and uh, he wants steak and shrimp for dinner <laughs> that's that's my boy and potatoes and ice cream sandwiches and whatever he wants he shall get so I'm gonna use these and it, they came at a perfect time I've never seen these before you get five pre-cut sheets and um, it says pre-cut parchment paper cooking cookie baking sheets kind of amazing right by Reynolds I've never seen those before have you guys seen those before I have a crap ton of makeup to share with you guys but I'm gonna share these two with you guys today and the rest in the next video it's just too much to share in one shot the hard candy feeling mauvey palette has been out before and I never found this palette and I wanted it in, a, in the worst way possible. It seems like, or at least in our area, Hard Candy has made a decision that they're gonna start packaging their stuff up much better because I'm having a hell of a time opening their packages lately, whereas in the past, this sticker was like almost like a joke. It was like, ah, we don't really mean it. Come right on in. But now it's like, no, 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 no. We're in a pandemic. We're, we're sealed up tight, thank you. So I kind of like that, actually. Now look at those colors they are really beautiful um so this is this one right here and i don't know where to put it okay i'm going to put that right here i don't you guys see that it's gorgeous it's just sparkly and beautiful and i'm gonna put some here even though it doesn't really go but in a way it does. I kind of, wow, I really like it actually. And I actually can see it. Um, 
this this color palette is beautiful there are one two three four five there are five sparkly ones one two three four and then the bottom one there are five so that is like really a very well balanced palette i don't know this one I mean, this one has the q-tippy things that's the only thing i don't like but it doesn't matter because most of the time i use my fingers anyway um i honestly wanted this in the worst way possible last year because i love these kind of colors i do i love these sort of colors i mean look at okay look at this one in the corner you guys see this one let's swatch that too that one is to die for look at that you guys see that That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then this is that first one. I, I adjusted the lighting. Beautiful. And then, I mean, it's, and the very lightest one, let's look at the lightest one. Because honestly, that's important. Then you might not have to have another palette with you. Let's say you grab this and you want to go on a trip. And you want to be able to do your makeup. You want to know that you have like a base Yep, the lightest one is beautiful. You have a good base, and then the darkest one, um, look, you could do a really beautiful eye with that, like a nice classic. Very, very pretty. It's just really nice. Then is this Glitter Vibes. Now, if you are going on a trip and you just want one palette and you bring this one, you're going to be partying. That's for sure because these are gorgeous. I cannot wait to dig into this Glitter Vibes palette. It is absolutely amazing. I really cannot believe how crazy it is that you could get something like this for $1 at the Dollar Tree. It's just, it, it's unbelievable to me that you can get something like this at the Dollar Tree. You got to hunt it. And, you know, I hope that the Dollar Tree starts bringing it to everyone's area. But look at this palette, you guys. And like, see me, look at that. What? I would put these and of course have this on the corner of the eye. Like I would, that would be my look. All of those together. I absolutely love it. Or actually this one. So these two palettes together, the Feeling Mavi and the Glitterazzi, do you see that? That, all four of those would be one really beautiful look. They're amazing, amazing, gorgeous to die for, to die for. Look at the glittery happiness. Look at this, oh my God, I'm like destroying it because I'm just, I just can't help myself. I'm like so, so happy. Oh, the gold. It's straight up glitter. Look at that. It's straight up glitter. And then look at that silver. I actually am filthy. But it's a good thing I have a lot of wipes in the car. What? This? Okay. This white one is incredible. It's just like ethereal. It's like gonna give you this like magical fairy looking eye. Oh, I want that magical fairy looking eye right now. I'm gonna add it, I'm gonna add it right now. You guys know how I am. I need to have it on my face now. Oh my God. I love this. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I really wanted this feeling mauve even last year. And now, I okay, first of all, I'm covered in makeup. I have, like, makeup everywhere. Oh, Marina, you'll never... I'm like a child. But do you guys see the happy, happy that's happening here? That is just gold happy, silver happy, purple happy, happy, all kinds of sparkle happy, hard candy, and my buddy, 
um, Pamela, who really drives a hard, she really is a hard candy driver. My buddy Pamela, who is truly a hard candy driver, had she not pushed and pushed for us to really, I was like, no, they're not going to be here yet. Let's just wait. Let's just wait. Because I do find them. I do find them. But you know what? I'm so excited that we now know that we could definitely provide these in the giveaway for sure. So these are definitely going to be in the giveaway. Look forward to that. Make sure you're subscribed to both of our channels. Um, you got to be in it to win it, you guys. And uh, there's so many other amazing things coming to you guys real soon. So please stay tuned. I will definitely be um, uploading another video within a day or so of another huge haul and show you guys more makeup that's to die for. I love you guys and I'm so appreciative that you're here. Please go show some love to Pamela's World also and check out a lot of the other makeup because she's totally ahead of me. She is a lot speedier than I am, you guys. And believe me, that's not going to change because although we're united, we're still very different in certain areas. But we're, we're, we have one for sure undying, uncompromising passion. And that is the Dollar Tree, like you all do. So enjoy this haul. Click like if you did. If um, you don't mind sharing this, this haul and telling your friends about our giveaway, that would be great. Clicking like, subscribing to the channel. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.